So let's begin with the southern border. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Well, this bill is a mystery. There's only been one leak. I'll get to that in a moment. But there is a huge pushback on ideological grounds. So Donald Trump, conservatives, Republicans, they don't want to let Biden to use a cliche, off the hook. So for three years, Joe Biden has destroyed national security by failing to enforce immigration law. There's no two sides to that story. So now Biden's trying to save himself by pushing some bill into Congress. Okay, but you don't take sides till you know what the bill says. Of course, that doesn't stop the dishonest media and dishonest politicians will take sides because they don't care. I do. I care. So NBC and CBS are reporting based on anonymous sources, which we never use here. Okay, they're reporting that there is in the bill a trigger to stop anyone from coming across the border if crossings reach 8,500 in a day or 5,000 a day over a seven week period. Very confusing. Okay, but this eliminates my vote if I'm in Congress. I'm not gonna give a, you come on in up to a certain point every day, and then we release you into the country and do whatever you wanna do. I'm not voting for that. Would you? Would you vote for that? Let me just give you the math on it. If you allowed 5,000 migrants in a day, that would be almost 2 million a year. And who's going to count the migrants, by the way? It's a pretty big border, about 3,000 miles. So this is, if I see that in a bill, I'm not voting for the bill. Okay? It's pretty simple. But I don't know if it's in the bill or not. So it's got to come out this week because the Senate is set to vote on it next week. And the Senate will probably pass it, I guess, because most Democrats, uh, they control the Senate. But Trump is telling all Republicans, don't vote for the bill. But Trump doesn't know what's in it yet. Hold your fire. Okay. So last night I'm on News Nation, and I do News Nation at the 7 o'clock program on Monday and the Cuomo 8 o'clock program on Wednesday. And the ratings for my segments are very good. And you should watch them because there's a good back and forth. So Leland Vittard, former Fox guy, runs a seven o'clock hour on News Nation. He's saying, well, there's a strategy. This is a strategy by the Biden administration. And that's true. But here's how I answered that question. Go. So what what do you mean? Biden's strategy? What strategy? I failed with the economy. 17% inflation for necessities. I failed at the border. I failed keeping the peace around the world. I failed controlling government spending. What's the strategy, Leland? What's he going to run on? I don't go to work three out of seven days. Nobody knows where I am today, Monday. Where is he today? Nobody knows. It's insane. He's got nothing to run on. Keep that in mind that even if a bill would pass, a watered-down border security bill, which the media desperately wants to happen, okay, Biden is still an abject failure, okay? And anybody who doesn't know that doesn't want to know it. And we'll get to that at the back end of the program. All right, but keep this in mind. About 25% of our fellow countrymen and women want an open border. One out of four. They want it for a variety of reasons. So this data comes to us from CRC Research. It's a conservative group uh, tied in with the Federalist Society. All right. So the question was, um, Would you more or less be likely to support a candidate who says that immigration is healthy for the U.S. and we should keep open borders? Okay, total. More likely to support the candidate, 35%. Less likely, 57%. Unsure, not. 
Republicans, more likely 18 percent. That's a high number. I don't believe 18 percent of Republicans want an open border. Less likely 78, unsure five. Democrats, more likely 55 percent. Less likely 36, unsure five. Okay, I believe the Democrat number. There are progressive leftists, excuse me, who want to change the demographic of America so that the so-called white patriarchy is dissolved. And the only way you do that is by allowing a massive amount of people of color and foreign nationals into the country. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.